Rose, where are you? You can't hello. Oh, hello, hello, happy Tuesday and happy healing through love. How are you? I'm very well yourself. I'm magnificently magnificent and welcome to the Healing Through Love show. We're here today to increase awareness within the community about providing family and domestic violence survivors with a soft place to land and to offer advice on services available to those survivors and their families. Yeah, and as well as the Healing Through Love show, we hold annual Pamper Day events for survivors in South Australia and soon to be in Tasmania, where local businesses pay it forward to give our survivors a much deserved day of joy. And each week on this show, we interview experts and survivors who share their personal stories and advice to those who have experienced abuse, no matter where they are on their journey. I love it. And our Rose is going to just jump off to the side and our guest is going to join us. But Rose will be back with us at the end of today's conversation. Our special guest today is Amy Hill. Amy is a domestic violence survivor. She's a mentor sharing her experiences with other survivors to help them relate so they don't feel alone and they feel understood. She has provided unique healing techniques and strategies derived from a variety of tried and tested modalities. Amy, uh, hello, Amy, how are you? She's a mindset empowerment coach, and today she's going to talk about her healing process. Hello, Amy, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm magnificent, Amy. It was such a privilege and a pleasure to spend quality time with you recently at our Pamper Day. It was beautiful to have you in our information room where we had our tea and coffee. It was lovely to be able to share that experience with you. But I'd love to start with, if, you, if you're open to, having a conversation in this environment with our beautiful listeners about what brings you to this heart space of wanting to be a servant in this area. Yeah, sure, of course. So um, I guess the the main driving motivation for me to, to be in this space is from, uh, from my experience, so from my um, domestic violence experience. Um, it spanned across 10 years and um, I found that um, even after I, I escaped that um, I thought, you know, it would all be fine um, but that wasn't the case so um, it was quite um, interesting going through the next few years um, and then I found my my healing space and really started to to heal and come into into my own and the healing techniques that I found that worked for me were um, were incredibly powerful and I experienced such um, such a shift and it was really prevalent for other people to notice. Like um, my friend was actually in hospital and she commented saying, you know, do you have a new skin routine? Like your eyes are so clear. So for people to actually comment on that physical change, uh, even when it was like mental work, um, I, and I felt it within myself, but to have that reaction I um, I thought, you know, this is really powerful stuff. So I kept progressing through my healing journey and then I um, found myself with the opportunity to, to jump in and actually give back. So I just want other people to um, have a, a really enhanced healing journey um, just mm -hmm. like I did. It's so beautiful, Amy, and, and knowing you as I do and spending quality time with you, I can say that you're a very heart-centric human and that you genuinely care for others and that comes across with the way that you share your information with others and how you guide lovingly and hand-in-hand hand through the process of the transformational journey. So I really take my hat off to you and for the work that you're doing in this space. So thank you. And it's not just straight talking therapies. There's lots of things involved in how Amy gets you and it's very bespoke. So yes, there's a process that it can be used across the, across the border, across for everyone. Yes, and it depends on where you are at and she meets you where you're at and then guides you through the journey from there. So it's not a cookie cutter approach. It's not a one size fits all. It is very unique style of assisting people working through the journey. Yes, that's right. Yeah, it's um, it's a different sort of form of integrated guided therapy, 
Um, I offer um, two programs. Um, there's a healing program and a mindset and empowerment program. And I also offer um, group coaching. So um, it's just a, it's a matter of going through um, these processes and I work with people, um, yeah, either one-on-one -on -one or in the group environment. So I find that they're both really successful and um, my clients have experienced some really, um, really big shifts as well. Um, actually, there was one, one recent um, really big shift. It was after... Um, like their first session in group coaching and she just felt so empowered. She actually uh, went and shaved her head to show like the new, uh, the new you, like the new her. So she, it was just so empowering and, you know, that brought a tear to my eye. Just you know, seeing it. that, it's incredible. Well, there's, so the interesting thing is, is that the hair actually holds memory. So this is why when you become a monk or you become a nun, they shave your head. It's to shave that, that memory to get rid of it. So if you really want to step into your new power and you really want to get rid of the past, then, yeah, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> uh, but, yes, yes, go for it, go for it, shave your head. That's, that is a physical, a physical expression of an internal manifestation. So that's beautiful, Amy. I absolutely love that story. So can you tell us a little bit more about the, the difference between the two programs, the one-to-one -one and the one-to-many? Yeah, absolutely. So um, with the healing program, um, that's offered both one-on-one -on -one and in a group coaching environment. So um, it's all facilitated through Zoom, which is uh, once a week. Um, and then there's tasks as well. So while we're working on um, the hard stuff in the sessions, then we've also got a task to help um, increase the self-worth. So it's doing like both at the same time, the, the positive and, and the harder stuff as well. So um, that is the, the same approach for the one-on-one -on -one and the group coaching. Um, there is obviously a bit of a, a difference. It's not um as tailored in the group coaching but um it allows to you to share the experience with other people and there have been some really incredible bonds um between these these other people in this lovely group and um it's it's actually been really really popular uh which is great to see um then with the mindset and empowerment program um that comes after the healing program. So um, there, it's, it's deeper work and um, it's just really about connecting with yourself. So once you've actually started the healing process by going through the program, then, um, you know, I find that um, people are at a more of a balanced place where they're able to really connect with themselves deeper so I help facilitate that. Excellent. That's fantastic, Amy. It sounds fabulous. In the in this session that we have today, well, the one thing that our listeners really, really love is tangible takeaways, tools and techniques that they can implement straight away that are going to make a difference to their lives. And we ask everyone every week, you know, what's your what, number one takeaway that you can help help people move forward? Can, can I ask you that? What would be one tangible tool, technique or strategy that you could share with everyone today? Absolutely. So I found um, for me, when I was on my healing journey, um, the one thing that I really stuck to and found to be really helpful was uh, the morning routine. So um, I just found that, you know, it was something that I could stick to that I had like some control over. And um, the purpose of it was to work on myself and work on my mind and um, that was really important and I found that it made such a big difference don't get me wrong it's hard to get into like a routine but once once I found that you know I was um, going through the morning routine for a while I started to notice a difference and the more that I've been doing it it's just been a, a really powerful tool and technique so um 
The three essentials that I find uh, for an empowering morning routine is definitely um, affirmations. So, yeah, yeah. First cab off the rank, affirmations, um, because then you're um, essentially reframing and giving yourself those, um, those positive words. And by starting your day like that, I believe you're starting your day right in an empowering position. So having those correct affirmations um, is obviously works a lot better if they're tailored to you. So making sure that they're meaningful to you. Um, and then, of course, you know, um, after a week or so, then relook at them and change. So, you know, you're continually checking in and making sure that they're meaningful. Um, the second one is meditation. So I find um, that to be extremely powerful as well because the purpose of meditation is to connect with yourself. So um, whether it be a guided meditation or something you're able to do by yourself, um, for me what I found and I like to share with my clients is um, whether you use YouTube or um, perhaps the Calm app, or something similar headspace starting off with a guided meditation so it's not so overwhelming um, and then you know just finding what works for you um, I did guided meditations for 18 months before I progressed with more of a self meditation and the idea is just to become familiar with it and to practice it um, and then you know you will definitely notice notice a big difference with meditation absolutely um, and third? yes so the third one uh, which I really love is journaling so yes I love it um, it's very um, well I, I found this one actually hard to get into myself um, I did use some prompts to initially get into it um, so I was relying on on other people's well like a guided prompt uh, which I found quite useful just to try and get into um, like the, the mood or the mode of um, how to journal um, because I think it was difficult to try and connect with myself through my own words and seeing it on the paper so again with practice you know it just became easier and then once I put that practice in place, then I was able to go a lot deeper, which again, it's all about connecting with yourself. And I find that these are the three essential things to start, um, start your day in the best possible way, to really start in an empowering position and then do it again the next day and just make it as part of your routine. I love that, Amy. And it's true that if we can start high, we stay high. So to yeah. begin that day with affirmations, or I actually begin with gratitude because I just love gratitude. So, but yes, to start the day high, then you actually continue that way. And I don't know, Amy, did you know that the neuroscience is, is in now, that nine minutes is all that you need to show a chemical change, a chemical difference in the brain of meditation. So you don't need to have a 30 minute meditation, it doesn't need to be an hour. Nine minutes or more will create the chemical change in the brain so that you can be more, have more, do more, share more. Than you ever have before i love it and you know amy that i'm a huge fan of journaling it's what's helped me through my process it allows you to be your own coach and review and see where you are and how you can move forward so i love that amy fantastic it's so good to see that we're on the same page there and a morning routine well it's the one thing that we don't have when we're not in a good place is it we just we know we struggle to get out of bed if we do and um and there's all of those things that happen in our heads and the, the language that we use to not support ourselves so like these are the opposite of what we were doing beforehand to get us into that space so i love that amy i love that excellent oh we've got some lovely comments excellent powerful morning routine thanks for sharing amy oh that's lovely oh that name looks familiar <laughs> <laughs> 
I do believe he's going to be one of our guest speakers at the very next Speakers Tribe in South Australia. So, yes, it's nice yeah. to see him here and showing his support. Well done, Amy. That's fantastic. So you offer a one-to-one -one service. You offer an in-person. Is it in-person or everything's on Zoom? Everything's on Zoom at the moment. Um, you know, I do have um, an office in Adelaide, so can see people locally in Adelaide. Um, but other than that, it's all on Zoom and um, it works so well. I've got clients um, in America, Canada, Sydney, Melbourne, and uh, Zoom's just great. So it yeah. is. Zoom is fantastic. I absolutely love it. And all of the other variations on Zoom as well. Now we have so many of them. I love it. So you offer one-to-one -one services and you offer one-to-many services and most of them are done on Zoom, if you're local to Adelaide, you can see Amy in the flesh, which I highly recommend. I saw Amy in the flesh just recently, and it's a very pleasant experience, just saying. So I'd love to have a quick conversation about your participation in the Healing Through Love, uh, the recent Pamper Day. Like, what did you see at that event? And uh, and for people that are listening, how what could you tell them, share with them that would empower them to want to step up and come in uh, to such an environment? Yeah, definitely. It um, it was a really special um, event to be part of. And I found um, the energy there was very warm and welcoming, uh, welcoming, caring and, um, and friendly. Um, everyone was so approachable and it was such um, an amazing um, event to be part of and I, I really feel honoured to be part of it. Mm. Um, I definitely can't wait for next year and I will be doing my best to get the word out and encourage people to, to come along and just relax and enjoy a, a day of pampering. Yeah. We would so much love to have you in that space for next year as well. It would be such a joy and a privilege to have you there. Yeah, I love that. Now, could you, would you be open to sharing? I understand that you've got a special offer today for our listeners. Could you share the special offer for our listeners today? Yes, of course. Um, so my offer um, that I'd love to share with the listeners is 25% off either the group coaching program or the healing program, which is um, offered in one-on-one -on -one sessions as well. Um, so that's what I would love to share with the listeners. And um, <laughs> thank you. That's lovely. Thanks, Amy. And thanks, Rose, for making sure that goes up in the chat and the details go in the post so people can access it. That's fantastic. So it's been an interesting journey for you, Amy, moving through and out the other side. Was there... Was there a moment in time that happened for you that was the trigger for you to move forward? Was there something that happened that helped you push yourself out of that situation so that you could start the journey of healing on the other side? Um, after, after I left um, or escaped rather, um, like I said, I thought, you know, that was it. Um, but... Um, it felt like things just got so much worse after that. So um, the the next five years were really difficult, um, and it wasn't until I um, I had a, another relationship, um, and that broke down. I ended up at um, my parents' place, um, and in the same bedroom I had when I was sixteen. And I just remember I was sitting on, on my bed scrolling through good old Facebook and uh, up came um, an ad for a free seminar about breaking the mould. So um, I thought, you know, what have I got to lose? Like, let's just go. Um, it, it resonated with me. Um, and then I got into uh, the course that the facilitator was offering um, and did another one and I just really connected with the message and learning about um, the neurological side and really finding out more about healing and that's that's when my healing journey began and um, ever since then it's just been on the way up so it's been um, an amazing experience and I kept doing the the coaching program, not knowing what 
what I would do with it or how I would actually use it. Um, I was very busy in my career. So I'm just, I'm incredibly grateful that I am able to use all of the skills and learnings that um, I've got over the last few years from going through these courses. And I've had three coaches myself and I just feel like I've got all of this knowledge and I really want to share and impact people, really help their healing journey. It's so beautiful. And there's a different level of understanding when you're communicating with a coach that's been through the process rather than someone that's just read it in a book or started it at uni. There's a different level of empathy that comes with it and, you know, a lived experience which you can't you can't purchase that it's something that you have to pay the price of going through that and as a survivor as all the girls who work with healing through love are is that it it's we wear it like almost a badge of honor to say that we've been through it and now we we know from a heart space that we can help make a difference for others and and Amy you belong to that club of girls who've been through and have survived and are now thriving and we're now warriors so that we can show others the light that they can step into and move forward and you know you have gone that next step and you provide a service for these people to be able to yeah join us and follow the light and uh and be everything that the inside of them wants them to be yeah and that little voice that they're too afraid to say yeah and i i totally agree with the fact um you know actually going through the experience and i wanted to to use my experience not uh not for nothing there was so many different um areas that i was exposed to which, um, you know, including psychological, emotional, verbal, financial, physical, narcissism, alcoholism. And with all of that breadth of experience, I'm now able to relate and really help people. Um, so I find that when people get in touch with me, um, I do a lot on social media, on Instagram and Facebook, a lot around education, awareness, mindset and motivation. Um, and people come to me um, and after their first message, they the majority just say, I feel so alone. Um, my friends and family, they don't understand. Um, so I actually wrote a book and um, I find that getting my message out about my story, it just, it helps people relate. Um, as a survivor, not just that, but also the friends and family who don't understand or can't see their perspectives. So I found that to be um, to really be powerful and helpful as well. Mm, that's fantastic. And I understand that you're also doing a retreat as well, Amy. Is that right? Yes, yes. It's a, a mini retreat on Saturday, this coming Saturday. So it's um, for three hours and there's... Um, It'll be three parts. So there's mindset mastery, there's um, yoga flow, and there's also a lovely guided meditation. I've um, been able to collaborate with these two amazing powerhouse women, um, and we're all very aligned and very heart-centered, and um, it'll just be an amazing event. I, I can't wait. Oh, um, fantastic. Amy, how do people find out about that? Have you shared that information with Rose so we can share it with the universe? Yes. Um, yes, I believe that's, uh, that sh should be. Oh, there it oh, is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> like Rose is so much. It. You know what? It's like she thinks about it ahead of time. She's got it all sorted and uh, yeah. she like, reads our minds. <laughs> Yes, She's clearly. So good. She's so, good. so, yes, so when you're interested to attend this, it'll be an amazing event. Can I ask you what the price point is? Yes, so um, that one is $99. And the, the theme of this one is let go and heal. So it's very relevant um, for all the listeners. And um, we're wanting to do this as a, a monthly event. So we'll just do a different theme each month. Um, and I really love to um, put it out there for people who are in need of self-love, um, especially um, domestic violence survivors. I think just having that monthly thing to look forward to, give yourself some self-love 
And by doing yoga and meditation and some mindset insight, I think, you know, what better way to connect with yourself? I love it. Amy, thank you as always. It's been a privilege and pleasure to spend quality time with you here in Healing Through Love Show. I'm looking forward to a continued relationship, working with you closely here in Adelaide and having you back for our next Pamper Day. And, uh, and thank you so much. I look forward. You're also going to be a guest speaker at uh, the Healing at the Speakers Tribe, I yes. understand, in Adelaide. So we're looking forward to having you share the stage and share your story there. Thank you so much, Amy. Bye for now. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Bye, Amy. And as Amy leaves, we've got Rose joining us back because we wanted to have a very quick conversation about what's happening. Hi, Rose. How Hello. Are you? <laughs> oh, Amy's wonderful. We love listening oh, to you. She's, yeah, brilliant. Oh, my she's God. like a breath of fresh air, isn't she? she? Certainly is. And it was so lovely to have her at the Pamper Day. And if you're sitting here listening and thinking, oh, Pamper Day, did I miss it? Well, you just missed the one for May, but we have another one coming up. We're just looking for a location. And that brings us to we're looking for sponsors. If you want to make a difference in this area and you don't have a, a service to provide, but you are, you're you a survivor yourself and you really want to pay it forward, we are looking for sponsors to help us move forward uh, for, for our next event here in Adelaide. We're also looking for people who are exhibitors that offer a particular type of service. Any service, it can be a hand massage, neck and shoulder massage, it can be any type of physical therapy, hair, makeup, whatever it is, as long as it's something pampering, we're looking for new exhibitors for our upcoming event. And then if either either of those don't work, we are actually putting together pamper packages for ladies who are in the throes of it happening, where we turn up with um, goodie bags filled with everything that a woman needs, personal items, and we get that to the people that see these girls in the front line as they're actually literally escaping. So, so if, if you can help with any th one of those three areas, we would love to hear from you. And Rose, you've got something exciting happening in Tassie. Yes, yes, yes. I am organising um, a retreat for men. Now, we know through our pamper days that men have been asking in Adelaide, when are, we, uh, 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 when are we Healing Through Love going to be doing something for men? So because Healing Through Love is now in Tassie, I've decided that our first event will be a retreat for men. And I'm actually having a conversation with a, a gentleman um, in, a, in a day or so who is going to give me some ideas about... Uh, you know, what kind of activities men would like to to participate in. And it will be a weekend retreat. So um, it will be, um, you know, somewhere beautiful, obviously. It won't be in a hotel, but it'll be probably out the bush somewhere where you can, you know, yell your heads off and, and do whatever it is that you like. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to finding out some more information. And that will be posted on our page and it'll be shared everywhere so that, um, yeah, men can become involved in that. I love it. So like and follow Healing Through Love. We've got a page. We've also got lots of information. And we've got a website as well. So follow our website and uh, also get on our email list so that we can send you updates of our upcoming events and all of the other beautiful bits of information. Uh, we've got spotlights on each of the people that have been working with us from the last Pamper Day. So they'll be coming out and we've got videos and so much more. So stay tuned and stay connected. And just at the last minute, I'd like to thank our amazing sponsors. I'd like to thank My, My Time TV and the app Be Live. Without their support, without what they do for us, we wouldn't even be able to put on this show. So they support us and they support Healing Through Love and everything that we do to shift awareness in and around domestic and family violence. So thank you, Be Live, and thank you, My Time TV, for supporting us in our journey. Rose, if there's anything else to add? No, I think the Pamper Day was brilliant. Um, I, I, from what I understand, everyone had a magnificent time. The um, exhibitors just enjoyed pampering and the, the ladies that attended um, had, a, their life was changed just even for a day. It was just um, so welcoming. So as Amy said, it was welcoming, it was warm and um yeah, it's a, it's a place to thrive. So, yeah. So true. Thank you so much for joining us again. We have an another fabulous show next week. We look forward to having lunch with us next Tuesday. It's bye from myself and Rose and Ali, who couldn't be here today, but bye for now.